Welcome back to the Halftime Show on K105. This is Sam Gormley with you for another edition of our Cougar Conversations. Today, we head to the pitch for Lady Cougar Soccer Senior Defender Elizabeth Lindsay. And Elizabeth, the first question I wanted to get to you, and I asked Hunter Felty this uh, earlier in the season as well, and it was based on this is now your senior season. Your freshman season was normal. Your sophomore season was anything but normal. Your junior season was kind of a little bit of both, but now you get that sense of normalcy for senior year. How much better does it feel to have that as a senior compared to what you've had to go through over the past couple of years? Uh, it feels way better, like getting to play with everybody and not having to worry about staying like six feet apart or actually like getting to like shake hands at the end of a game is so much better than not being able to do any of that. And we actually like haven't canceled any games this time for COVID. So like we actually get that work in that we need. You've had a lot of really good teammates, I know, over your previous four years, and a lot of really talented teammates as well. I know a couple that just come to mind off the top of my head. I mean, Jillian Johnston, a phenomenal striker. Ellie Evans, who I think could outrun everybody on the field. Not only just those two, but what did you learn from some of the older players that mentored you when you were a younger Lady Cougar? Uh, I learned that, like, it's all about teamwork. Like, you can hit as many goals as, like, anybody else but like you have to have that teamwork Jillian knew like when she needed to pass Ellie knew that finding the open man is always better than just take going towards the goal that's just something that like you have to build on and building that bond between like everybody else on the field is always better now that you have the opportunity to lead some of the younger players what else are you trying to teach them for the future of this program um, I'm trying to teach them mostly communication. If you can't communicate with the others out there, there's not really much you can do. You have to tell them, like, if there's a man on their back or you have to tell them, like, when they need to slide or step. And knowing that communication is a big part of the teamwork like we talked about. Are you someone who likes to make either personal goals or team goals? And if so, what are they? I make some personal goals for myself, like not lunging because that I do a lot, but I also make team goals, like getting the back line to move together and be one unit because most of the time our games are defensive games. We might have a chance to go on the offensive once or twice, but most of the time it's all about the defense and working as like a team and getting it to where, you know, we know when somebody's sliding, we don't have to communicate it. That's a big goal. Your team has an opportunity to get back to the regional tournament this year. What do you need to do over these next couple of weeks before the big district tournament games to get to that point? We really need to just work on uh, a big part is the communication. I mean, we can send the ball up, but if we don't tell like somebody to run for it or we don't tell like call who it's supposed to be going to, they won't be able to make that run. And another big thing we need to work on is like just staying together. I feel like a lot of us are getting lost in the middle of the game and not knowing what to do. But if we just stick together and stay in our formation, we'll be fine. Now, this next little part is, again, probably later on in the season, I'll be creative and I'll find a more creative name. But since that point, maybe not. Maybe you'll have one. And, and sure, that could be a, an answer to the question as well. But it's kind of a speed round. So I'm going to kind of ask you some really quick questions and just give me really quick answers. Okay. So it'll be pretty simple. What's your favorite memory as a Lady Cougar? Uh, probably Michaela, like, taking the ball to the head. It's a very terrible memory, but it's the best one. Uh, what's your favorite class? Uh, English. Who's your favorite teacher that you've ever had? Miss Condor. Miss Condor. Now, is she an English teacher? I'm not from Grace no. County. She's a science teacher. Science teacher. Uh, are you superstitious before a game? Yes. Are, do you care to share, or is that too superstitious to share? Uh, I don't have anything to share about it. I just am. You just are. Okay, I respect it. Is there a show that you love to binge watch? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Not a binge watcher? I'm, I'm not really either. Uh, where do you want to go to college? What do you want to study? I don't know where I want to go to college, but I do want to study physical therapy. Physical therapy. Of your teammates, who's most likely to be president? Piper. Piper. Who's the best dancer? Kelsey. Who's the most likely to win American Idol? Kinsey. I like that there's actually an answer to that. The football team had no one, accordingly. And could any of your teammates have their own reality TV show? Ali Joe. I like it. Elizabeth, thank you. Good luck the rest of the season. Hopefully it's a nice and long one and successful one for the Lady Cougars. That is Elizabeth Lindsay, a senior defender for Grayson County. The halftime show continues here in just a moment.